What's at stake if E.T. doesn't become the best E.T. he can become? What, what, what am I giving up? What harvest is I'm, am I losing? People tell me all the time, it's hard to get wealthy. It's hard to grind. It's hard to be focused. How do you even do these speeches? It's hard to stay motivated. We lie to ourselves. We don't tell ourselves the way things really are. And when we do that, then we can't fix our problems. Every day, I wake up and think of my ideal life. I have so many goals that I want to accomplish. I have so much that I want to do. I have a vision of my life and I'm nowhere near where I want to be at times. I get overwhelmed and I become so impatient with myself. I truly feel sometimes I'm just falling behind. That's what I'm here to tell you. Any of you today, you can have a harvest. You can have whatever you like and it don't have to be corners, whatever seeds you plant. If you can't see it before, if you can't see it while it's in the ground, mustering up and doing its thing, because listen to me, it's doing something down there long before it gets up here. But if you can't see that it's doing something down there, and if you don't have the ability, even in your trials and tribulations, to say it ain't over, it ain't over until God says it's over, and have the ability to move on past that and be afraid of what you can lose. Listen to me, we're not talking about what you fear about getting embarrassed because you raise your hand, or the fear you get when you turn in the paper and you're afraid that the teacher's gonna see who you really are, or you're scared to do something because uh, 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 the unknown. No, we're not talking about that fear. We're talking about the fear of, if I don't become what I should become. And then one day, I came out, and a hush went across the audience because it must have been something about me that indicated that I'd come to myself. And Mr. Washington had been practicing with me to give a presentation. And I looked at the audience and I said, I choose not to be a common man. It's my right to be uncommon if I can. I seek opportunity, not security. I do not wish to be a kept citizen, humbled and dull by having the state look after me. I want to take the calculated risk to dream and to build, to fail and to succeed. I refuse to live from hand to mouth. I prefer the challenges of life to the guaranteed existence, the thrill of fulfillment to the stale calm of utopia. I will never cower before any master, nor bend to any threat. It's my heritage to stand erect, proud and unafraid, to face the world boldly and say, this I have done. Girl stood up say, that's my boyfriend, honey. What's that say? It's your boy, E.T. Listen to me very closely. Forget about January. Forget about February. Forget about March. Forget about April. Forget about May. Forget about June. Forget about July. Forget about August. Forget about September. It's over. So forget about the past. Listen to me. And make the rest of your life the best in your life. It's your boy E.T. I know you can do it. I believe you can do it. We got to get rid of pain this year, all right? No excuses. I put up with it last year. Don't call me. Don't write me about pain. Listen to me. All roads to success, you got to go through pain. They, they all success. When you travel down success, you got to go through the road of pain, baby. I told you before, if it was easy, everybody would do it. Forget about it. If you think it's going to be easy, if you think you're just going to get that business started without any trials or trouble, forget about it. I like me some less brown, baby. <laughs> but I didn't start off like that. You have something special. You have talents and abilities in you that you don't even know. So how do we begin to create wealth? Let me give you some, some ideas. Number one, write this down, knowledge. What knowledge that you have in this economy, part of what we need, that people are willing to pay you for that. Next is talent. What talent? Dion's talent is playing football. I didn't have that as a talent. My talent is talking. To me, my definition of success is doing what you love to do and find somebody to pay you to do it. <laughs> so I find people to pay me to talk. I talk. I bought a game to this, to this country called Beard Wist that I invented. I feel at times the clock is winding down. It truly is a struggle to stay positive and motivated. Sometimes, like most people, I want to throw in a town and just give up. Sometimes it just feels like there's just no use, there's just two. Much ground to cover. I need to cover it so that I can get where I need to be. I need to constantly remind myself over and over again. I am not yet where I want to be. 
But I know I'll get there. I am not where I want to be. It's hard to stay broke. It's hard to stay depressed. It's hard to stay governed by anxiety. It's hard to be inconsistent. It's hard not to have daily disciplines. It's hard not to believe in yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to be poor. It's hard. It's all hard. So choose your heart. You either go work for it, or you're going to sit there and let life knock you down and dare you to get back up. It's hard to practice perseverance. It's hard to practice compassion and forgiveness. It's hard to set personal goals. It's hard to take care of yourself. It's hard to be broke. It's hard to live in bitterness and unforgiveness. If we can't fix our problems, we're not going to improve. So we have to be truthful to ourselves. You have to stop rationalizing, stop making excuses, stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth so that you can get where you want to go. You can be who you want to be, who you should be when you do what you know you should do, when you pay attention to the little things, when you implement discipline true and unflinching and unmitigated discipline in your life when you stop trying to find a sweatless solution when you look for weaknesses to work on and all that starts when you stop lying to yourself that's when you can become who you know you should be i am so grateful I not where I used to be. I am talking to those people that are just about to give up, that are just about to lose all hope. I am here, ladies and gentlemen, to cheer you on, to let you know that you, you my friends, are going to get there. You are going to get that promotion. You are going to complete that marathon, and you are going to run for your life. Whatever you are working towards, you are going to get there, but you've got to get crystal clear what it is you want. It's difficult to be jealous of somebody. It's hard to let yourself go. It can be difficult to lay your life down and humble yourself and rid yourself of the disease of ego, pride, and comparison, and competition. It's, it's difficult. It's hard to be creative. It's hard to be an introvert. It's hard to be an extrovert. Singleness can be difficult. Marriage can be difficult. Raising your children on your own can be difficult. It's hard to wake up early. It's hard to wake up late. But there's a reward on the other side of waking up early. If you wake up late, you've lost too much daylight. What somebody else did before you woke up, now you only have a fraction of the day to get it done. There's a reward on the other side of one pain and there is regret on the other side of the other pain. And if you're going to win the reward, you're going to have to persevere. You're going to need endurance. You're going to need to be consistent. And on the other end of the pendulum, there is the pain of regret. Tell yourself the truth about where you are so you can make sure you are in the right place. And if you're not in the right place, then you can get yourself on the path to get there. The path of discipline, the path of hard work, and the path of truth.
the skill itself is being able to detach during the event. Mm -hmm. The hard part is to notice. You got to look for those signs. You got to look for that. moment when you start feeling emotional or you know that it's going to be something emotional you've got to step back from those and get get yourself in the habit of asking yourself what do i look like right now what do i sound like right now listen to the words that are coming out of your mouth and see if you're being a reasonable human or not look for the emotional quicksand and don't step in at the emotion of the anger the frustration what it is that you are seeking for what it is you truly want you must know, you've got to know, that you're going to get there, but most importantly, most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, work like hell cross the ground and keep moving. Make the ground shake, crack the world. Get it going, don't let nothing stop you. I am pleading with you. When the rest of the world shuts you down, you've got to be the one to stand up, shout out, cry out, stay tall, work hard, dig deep, and go after it. <laughs>